Hey guys, time for a new video here on Mediums of Plenty. I don't want to really call them instructional videos as much as maybe uh, inspirational, man. To just to, I don't know. If you want to pick up an airbrush, pick it up. Try to make it work. If you're anything like I was when I got mine, and I'm still not all that great at it. It was a nightmare. It was a complete nightmare. Uh, did a lot of scale models and was using uh, stuff like this right here, which uh, is good paint. Now that I finally got it to work on an airbrush, it's great, fantastic, wonderful. Uh, it's like spraying Elmer's glue. It's so thick. It's got to be thinned down quite a bit. Uh, so, any things like that, that that I mention, maybe just consider it a tip or uh, an idea, something to try out for yourself. Um, because, well, a lot of this stuff I'm kind of learning as I go as well. I did pick up uh, some of this Calm Art Color, which looks really thin enough to go right from the bottle. I got some skin tones and such, not that I'm going to try a portrait anytime soon. But you never know. Who knows? That's what it's all about. Trying stuff out. I'll go over some of the equipment that I'm using. For instance, this here. Very cheapo. Harbor Freight airbrush. Which... Junk by a lot of people's opinion. Most of them are the super duper pros that... Are, you know, get their equipment for free. For to advertise for people and... Uh, I don't have anybody doing that for me, so here's what I'm using. Like I said, Harbor Freight, they thing I don't know, set you back 11, 12 bucks. Big bucks. Um, so if something goes wrong with it and you have to replace it, well, although I can't imagine anything going wrong with it, it's super easy to tear down and clean. It covers a lot of area quickly, uh, which is a nice, uh, nice thing to have because most airbrushes are so fine that they cover a larger area well. It can be a pain. Uh, this gets that done, and it gets it done well. And like I said, cleanup is a breeze with it, so hooray for that. Uh, I also have some of these cheapo airbrushes here. I think they set you back a whopping, oh, 23 bucks. And one of these uh, I can't even tell now. I would thought I would have thought it would have been dinged up. Uh, actually, I think this one is the original. Jeez, I think they look. The only difference is there's a. I thought they were the same model when I ordered them, but apparently not. Uh, one of them's been in service for about two years, doing said models and so, stuff that. I've only done one uh, painting on canvas with an airbrush, and I don't even know where it's at. It was True Flames with a skull, and I don't know. For our first time around, I was pleased with it anyway, and I'm sure here in a video or two I'll be attempting another. As a matter of fact, I've already got plans. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, 23 bucks. Um, I do have, uh, what is this, a Sotar 2020, this pretty expensive brush for fine work. Not that I've used it for any fine work, just tight spaces on the models. Like I said, I haven't done any line work or anything like that, so we'll be, I'll be learning. You can watch, pick up and learn if you'd like. <laughs> uh, uh, what else? This stuff. I'll brag about it. It's not the cheapest stuff on the shelf, but at Michael's with a 40% off coupon, it's going to set you back about five dollars and change, six bucks and change. And it says it works on just about every type of paint, including oil. It says you may have to soak acrylics uh, for them to wash off. That's not the case I found. 
your little dab on a q-tip like that back there and it'll wipe out one of these bowls that's got dried paint in it or a needle that's got a little crusty on it no problem As a matter of fact <laughs> I thought I had just done that so geez, let me see here let me set this here if I can get it under this light and we'll do a little unplanned demo how's that hopefully I got the battery for this So one hand's going to be holding the camera here. I'm not going to be able to like grind on this thing to get it cleaned out. I just swabbed it in that. I've had no issues with uh, the rubber O-rings or anything like that as far as them being eaten away. So, And as a thinner for the acrylics I use uh, Windex, which they say the ammonia in there will will trash seals but uh, I can't say I've ever had a problem so I continue to use the inexpensive stuff so and you can see that uh, took tons of effort and a lot of blood sweat and tears and elbow grease and it, uh, yeah. uh, it works for me. I see there's some there I got, but you get the point. It uh, yeah. works pretty damn good, I think. So kudos to uh, Winsor Newton there. Mui Gooder Jobber. Uh, it is handy to have one of these little spray outs to clean out your cups and stuff and do your color changes and all that good stuff and it came with some of these quick fittings and such haven't even hooked them up yet because well I'm not doing line work I wasn't changing your brushes that frequently that may change now as far as the surface I've got uh, one of the artist clipboards here there again a few bucks at Michaels with a 40% off coupon um, this here is a poster board, Dollar Tree stuff, and it's at the Dollar Tree, 50 cents, you can't beat it, come on, you know you love it. And the tape is nothing special, it's, it's actually what I got laying around, some Tamiya tape right there. And it's probably good, because I don't think it'll shred the paper when it comes time to, uh, to peel it off. So, yeah, it's got some colors here. We've got the uh, few selections of transparent and opaque. And I also have another brand which I'll probably sneak in here because I have some transparent slash almost candy colors of the uh, Tamiya. So, and that's about the best stuff I have for the True Flames yet. I don't, uh, I don't have any others yet. Whether I get some either Wicked or the new uh, Createx illustration stuff, we'll see. Probably going to lean towards the auto color because I'd like to do some helmets and such. And yeah. Last but least, a little quick little project uh, that I'm talking about here is... There's a video online of a gentleman that I'm guessing he's painting a trike because there's three fenders. The two rear fenders have uh, skulls and flames. And I kind of like the way it looked. And since he kind of does a about a 40 minute demo on it, it's not one of the speed paintings. Uh, I don't know that he gives a bunch of information about what he's doing. I hear, I've heard him talk a couple of times in the video, but I think it's mostly music. So, I may find myself having to fart around uh, with different colors or changing to another video to see what color tips, because I don't know a lot about the transparent and opaque stuff and all that. So, this is also uh, ooh, another piece of the Dollar Tree poster board which I real quick scribbled out uh, the outer skull shape 
so that will be the outer stencil and then you've got the inner portion of the dome uh, the lower portion of the jaw the eyes is what we've got there and then uh, the schnozzola and the inner schnozzola nasal bone if you will and I don't know what the hell this is like it's part of the lower as well just an inner portion for some shading under his uh, tufuses that's about it guys but I'm not going to start on that yet I did get some black poster board to try uh, the true flames I did before was actually on a pre-painted canvas which had a semi-gloss kind of finish which helped so whether it's going to work on a piece of poster board black or not I got no idea so uh, I'm going to bump up the air pressure oh air pressure California air picked it up at uh, I don't know Home Depot I think it was let me pop it on real quick and y'all see how loud it is so one cylinder I don't know how many gallons of tank is it's big enough for airbrushing no doubt and it's stout enough that it can head out to the garage with me and run some tools to work on the car as well so I think it was about 199 bucks I think I'm in the ballpark there and I ran a decibel meter next to an old airbrush compressor and it, literally it was the same I can run this while my wife is sleeping at night no problem so alright I'm going to start some practice dots and dagger strokes and such and we'll check back see ya